Hey guys, RC here, and this is going to be just a throwback video back to FM18, but before we jump into that, just a couple of uh, channel updates. Uh, GM Games, welcome to the channel. Uh, Shamali2011, welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see. I wish the uh, subscribers. Uh, Herman Edgerson, welcome to the channel. Assuming you guys are still with me, uh, I did I did lose uh, one or two subscribers here in the last couple of days, but that's all right. You know I don't I don't lose track of life on stuff like that. Uh, Jacob Guernsey, welcome to the channel. Two days ago, uh, I had a nice chat with Oliver Jacobs about Leeds United uh, on one of the videos the other day. Uh, let's see. I think that was the last one. Yeah, that was it. And then uh, Oliver Jacobs, <clears throat> he's a Leeds fan. So uh, right there. Right there, buddy. Um, but uh, we were talking about, he was asking how, you know, how an American became a Leeds fan. And, you know, so we were talking about that. And, uh, and I, I may discuss that a little bit just here on the video, but... Um, I had mentioned in one of my recent videos about going back to FM 18 and just kind of doing a recap because this was probably the most fun that I had, probably the most fun that I've had doing a football manager save because it was my favorite team and we were just so dominant, so dominant. So, uh, figured we'd start off here and you can see that, uh, I was putting my name in there instead of my uh, my my pseudonym, uh, but I am uh, now a club legend, uh, right up there with Don Revy and Eddie Gray and Billy Bremner. A uh, lot, a lot of good inter John Charles, uh, Liz Mousset, Amin Guiri. Those are a couple of guys from this save that you may be going, who the hell are they? Um, and we'll look at them, but. Uh, this brought back James Wilson. Oh my God, a lot of names in here. Uh, just bringing back Ruben Diaz, bringing back some memories. Some of them are real, Tony Yaboa. Uh, some are not, uh, <laughs> Ruben Diaz and uh, oh, Mark Maduka, uh, Howard Wilkinson, Gary Speed. Yeah, Alan Clark, David Batty. Those are real guys. The guys down here towards the bottom, mostly, uh, Sander Burrs, James Wilson, Oyo. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. So if we look at the club, you can see where, that I'm a legend now, and there has to be a reason for that, right? Well, we are in the Premier League. Uh, we are a five-star worldwide reputation club. Uh, our top goal scorer, hello. Yeah, that is not a typo. <laughs> that is not a typo. Uh, taking a look at some news headlines, Guiri wins best player in Europe. By far the greatest player I have ever signed in Football Manager. Uh, Ellen Road has been updated to a 60,000 all-seater. And again, this is just a throwback retrospective. It'll be a one-off video. Um, but uh, yeah, so we've developed that. Uh, any affiliates? Still c culturally Anessa, Luton Town, Colchester. I don't know that I changed those very much. Uh, but here we go. So we start off, what, in two, this is FM 18. So we start off in 1819 or 1718. We won the league that year. And we go up from there. So we bear, we stay up. 17th so we basically barely avoid relegation we jump all the way to fourth take a slide back to 12th and then we're third second second and then we've won it we've won the league three years on the bounce uh so that gives us seven premier division championships uh and that was the end of the save and the release of fm19 but uh let's jump into the squad now, the problem is, when I played this, I was playing it on my old computer, and now, uh, now I have my new computer, and 
I had to reinstall it, so I don't have any of the any of the uh, icon mods, logo mods. Um, none of that transfers over. So, but there's our goal count. Guiri scored 61 goals this season on 241 shots, 14 penalties, scored nine of them. Just a beast. Just a beast. 32 goals in 28 league matches. Played a 7.8 on the season. 50, uh, 57 goals in 48 matches. More than one in one. He was just insane. And if we look at his history, we got him for $57 million from Olympic Lyon. So remember, we started this in 1718. So, and I've never been able to afford him ever since. Every version I look him up and I can't afford him. Uh, but we bought him for 57 million that year. He started off with uh, 14 and 29 that year, 36 and 36, 29 starts, seven reserve appearances. He played an 814 that year, 34 goals. Had an injury-plagued year from what I remember in 2025-26, but he still was 19 goals in 19 league starts. 25 and 26, and then he was back up to 32 and 35, but that's really the first year that he wasn't a one-for-one one or better from the first season. Uh, what a stellar career, man. 248 league goals. Uh, 25 for Leon, but what a run. I have not had that kind of goal scoring. The 4-3-3 was the go-to tactic in, uh, in this particular save. Uh, actually, no, we were playing a 4-4-2 with them. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. And I don't, I don't remember the UI here because this has been several releases ago, but um wow i thought this was the 433 year i wonder if that was fm19 i don't remember so we played a 4141 the volante was the that was my big tactic that year and then we had the the same tactic instead of two volantes we had an anchor this was the more defensive but this was the one that we mostly went with. And uh, so we had, who was, so Willem Gevels. Now he was not our primary guy. He was not our primary guy. Let's see. Well, let's head back into the squad. I just want to kind of, we'll start here. I just want to see all the names that I remember. All right, so we had Lumley, Hamilton, Pazalonga in the goal. Hamilton looks like he was our big guy at 53 million. Yeah, 36 league starts, allowed 17 goals on the whole season, 24 shutouts, and he played a 7-1 for the season. And you know how it is to get a 7 rating for a goalkeeper. So he was he was our big goalkeeper. We got him, uh, he was in our first year. We got him for 15 million. What a steal from Brighton. Wow. That's why I don't remember him because he only played for the one year. So he's, he was only 25 years old. I want to say it was Pazalanga. We had paid $25 million for him from Argentina. That's okay. But he never really started. And Lumley, we had just bought for $240,000 from Watford. So we must have sold our... our old goalkeeper we'll go back and look at transfers here in a minute uh Skrip skripansky julio renris oh my god he was a beast left back oh he was a giant killer man 31 league starts one goal seven assists three players of the match played a 7-4-1 Bought him from Nacional in Uruguay for six and a quarter million. And look at the run. Not a lot of goals, but, you know, at left back, you didn't expect that. But he chipped in a lot of assists, you know, seven, eight, nine assists a year, basically. 
And just solid lockdown defender back there. Uh, let's see. Don't I mean, I recognize the names. Wild Smith was a young English, mostly a reserve for us. Played in our U23s. He got an occasional match. Uh, Ruben Diaz, that was our next guy. That was our star center back. 31-year-old uh, Portuguese, valued at $60 million. We had acquired him from Arsenal for $24 million, and he was rock solid. And he chipped in goals, eight goals, seven goals. So he was, he was a threat, mostly set pieces, but he played over a seven every year for us. Uh, Sander Burge, I do remember him. He is a defensive mid, and he played that Volante position. Uh, in that 4-4-2, 30-year-old Norwegian player. Where did we get him from? Atletico Madrid for $30 million. So we had only had him for a few years, but six goals, seven assists, six goals, three assists in back-to-back -back years. Kieran Tierney, 31. He's a, uh, yeah, he can't, okay, yeah, the Arsenal guy. We had just picked him up on a free. I don't know why I signed him. I don't remember. I had a need and I think he might have just been one of those players that I just wanted. You know, I never managed, you know. Uh, let's see. Andrew Ford, he's on loan. So, I mean, he's pretty solid little player, but he couldn't make our squad. Julian Dima, left back. Got another beast. I do remember him. Brought him for $3.4 million from a uh, Romanian club, FCSB. Never scored a lot of goals. 13 assists in the next to last season. Louis uh, uh, Loris Audetto from Italy. He played in that Volante role. 26 years old. He had played with us. We picked him up from Lazio for $14 million. They, they made a nice little profit, but... He was a rock for us. Definitely somebody we were building around. Oh, here's the guy. Reda, Reda, Renatinho, Italian. I thought he was Brazilian when I was first signing him. I remember that the name. Got him from Chelsea, $59 million. And the thing is, I can't buy players for that little anymore. Not, th not this good. To get players that good, I'm, I'm well over $100 million in FM20. It's weird. Edson Castro. And these guys, look how young they were. I mean, a lot of these guys were still 24 to 26 years old. We had another four or five year run with these guys at their peaks. Uh, brought him in for less than a million dollars from Universitario in Peru. And, uh, oh, geez, look at that. Four star valued at 93 million. My goodness. Uh, Fleury, Tony Michael. He was uh, he was a young English striker, six five. Did I see that? Yeah, six five. He was not in our. Yeah, he was. He was from our system. That's strange. I don't recall. I'm watching Aussie Villains lead save right now, and I don't remember Michael coming up through that system. So I don't know where he is. I'm gonna have to look him up. Uh, loaned him out to Colchester, but you can say 26 goals for Leeds uh, in 26 league games. So he he had really cracked our starting striker role uh, up there with Guiri. So that's why that's why Gebbels was in. Michaels had gotten injured that year uh, for another two weeks. But Guiri, man, signing of football manager for me. Just end of discussion. Still only 28 years old. 33 goals and 47 international caps for France. Um, I mean, this is Kylian Mbappe, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, he's just, that is some insane numbers. And and I have, I don't think I've had a 30 goal score since. Uh, anybody else? Gebbels, Osling, Chippendale. So, you know, that's the club. Uh, just had a great season. Let's take a look at the schedule. So we, we lost our first friendly to Monaco. Uh, do we want to put goal scorers in there? Probably so. And we can back that off because we may need more space. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, you know, but then we got uh, Wins, Troyes, uh, all of our friendlies, which I'm not too worried about. So here's where we start off. Chelsea, Guiri, Ren Renatinho, uh, Renatinho and Tony Michael with a brace. Uh, clean sheets, three in a row to start the season. Guiri, another goal that gave him two on the season. Uh, Bentoncourt with a brace. Guiri found the net again as we beat United. Watford uh, got a lot of goals. Guiri off the bench and Davies off the bench. Just, you know, so let's go back to matches just for the green dots. But look at the run. So starting at the Community Shield, that's the start to the season, guys. I mean, August all the way till New Year's Eve, our, our first loss of the season, 2-1 to one to Man United. That's crazy. That's crazy. 91,000 seater, man. Gee whiz. And we were sick. We're, we're at 60. So we were still building. Uh, Club World Championships, 10 nothing over Tunis. 7-1 over Santos. Uh, in, the, in the Club Championship Finals. Crazy. All right, let's scroll up to that point. So that was the loss, the first loss of the season. The second half of our year was horrible. Look at this. In, in February and March, lucky I didn't get sacked, I guess. We, uh, we lost to Barcelona in the first knockout round. That's a hell of a draw. Barcelona in the first knockout round. Uh, but then we ended up beating them 3-0 and going to penalties and beating them on penalties in the second leg. But we did lose to Man City. We lost to Stoke. Ooh, excuse me. We lost to Stoke 3-2. I couldn't believe it. Lurian South Southern. Uh, but you can tell just from the names, Southam, uh, played a rotated squad because we just so much match conjection, uh, conjection, congestion, uh, settling in. Cause look at all, I mean, we're playing the Carabao, the FA, the Champions League, the club that, oh my God. I mean, you're just playing like every three days through here and just, so we were having to play a rotated squad and even that Man City, I don't think we played... I don't think we played uh, our, our starting rotation because we had just four days later, we had the return leg against Barcelona that we really wanted to win seven to two over Arsenal in the sixth round of the FA cup, more clean sheets, six to one over Monaco. And then uh, in the quarterfinal, Second leg, quarterfinal. Oh, there we go. Okay, 3 nothing, And then, so 9-1 on aggregate in the Champions League quarterfinals. That's just insane. Uh, FA Cup semifinal, we beat Stoke 3-1. to Champions League, PSG 2-0 and 2-0. So 4-0 on aggregate. Again, we put a rotated squad, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, Hamilton in goal. Renris was uh, there. Fru was not a everyday starter. Afkir. Tierney got a start. Uh, Bettenker. Guiri did play. And then there's the there's the run into the season. Uh, so the went over PSG, a draw against Leicester. And then uh, we finish out with clean sheets over Brighton and Reading uh, to close out the Premier. 4-1 win over Chelsea to lift the FA Cup and a 1-0 win over Man United in the Roses Derby for the Champions League final. So uh, taking a look at the competitions, we won them all, boys. So all six titles that season. We won the Premier by 19 points, 96 points. Arsenal finished second on 77 we had 31 wins in 38 matches. Let's take a look at this one, and we'll look at the stages. So, I mean, you know, a loss and a draw. Liverpool were on a good run of form there, but just couldn't catch up. Bournemouth, Southampton, Brighton got relegated. Basically, your same top six, Arsenal, Liverpool, United City, Chelsea, Leicester, Tottenham, up there in ninth. 
So, you know, it's the same, same, same in there. But if we look, so 96 points, 98 points with a 17 point gap. And look at the goals too. 100, uh, 101 goals that year, this year. 119 the previous year. And we missed 100 points by two. A plus, <laughs> look at the goal differential. Plus 97. That's just sickening. I'd love to have that again. Uh, 93 points with 112 goals, more than almost double Arsenal in second position. 94 points, 129 goals. So four four years on the bounce, counting the current year, and we finished second by a long shot. Man United went over 100 points that year. We were second to them two years in a row. We'd gotten up to third. That was the year we kind of made made our jump up to mid mid table. That was the that was the fluke year. That was like the second year in the premier. That was the year we barely stayed up. We barely stayed up. And I, I wonder what the what the turn in the save would have been had we gotten relegated. Because that one went down, if I remember correctly. We were losing on goal differential. I kind of remember this. This has been a while. But I, I, I seem to recall this went down to the last match of the season. And we pulled it out. We got a win. But if we would have if we would have stayed even, if they would have I think they lost and we won because we were even. So a draw by us or a loss by us or a win by them we had to do better we had to win they had to lose because they would have beaten us on goal differential and i i was sweating that i was sweating that so that video's out there if uh if you want to go back and find it because all these were on my channel uh and of course that year was the year we were down and winning the championship pretty sure that's 17 18 yeah, we got all, we didn't even win. We finished three points behind Wolves, and uh, but got automatic promotion, and that was the first year up. That was the first year of the, of the save when the game released. So, anyway, what else is there in here to look at? Dynamics. I think this was the year. Wasn't this the year Dynamics made the? Uh, wasn't this the year Dynamics kind of made its start in the game? I think so. And the hierarchy. Oh, look at the support. And all the guys, Castro, Fru, Afkir, Lumley, all reserves. Afkir actually wanted to leave. Uh, we just had a power surge there, but luckily the game did not shut down. So that's good. <laughs> we better knock this out here real quick, and I'm running out of time anyway. Uh, but anyway, let's just kind of run through here. Team report. Uh, not very many weaknesses. We had the best staffs, best staff in the country. Tony Michael, Sports Hernia, Ian Flurry, Twisted Ankle, nothing major going on there. Uh, just, oh, I know what I wanted to show you was the uh, the history overview. No, not that. Competitions. I saw it somewhere. Uh, what was our finances that year? We had $570 million in the bank. We had a transfer budget of $350 million and a payroll of $276 million. And we were at two forty three. dollars So that was crazy. Oh, transfers. Let's look at transfers. Uh, I didn't really do anything. So let's see. Yeah, Lumley. Fru, Hamilton, Oyo went out, Napper. I'm just looking for, uh, oh, Matrushkin. He was our old goalkeeper. He went to Derby. He was a 32-year-old Russian. Yes, we got him for $28 million from CSK Moscow. And he was awesome, man. He did a great job. Um, look at the shutouts. Look at the clean sheets that he put up, man. But... He did have a dip that last year, 
and you know just just a little bit but he only allowed 18 goals and i said you know what he's 32 let's get rid of him we made a little bit of profit on him matrushkin yeah okay um i just want to see if uh boscalo marshy 83 million to monaco oh boy we paid 63 million to get him in from juventus he he started for us he was really good but then uh we replaced him i mean he just you know he got moved and i was like i can't can't pay anybody that much money uh liam winter i recognize that's where we uh loaned him out danny Byrne, callum chambers got rid of him ravelli i remember him ben gibson i think he was our center back yeah so he's 35 now. We brought him in for Middlesbrough our first year. That was the year we were in the championship and 17 million. And he, he did a good job for us, but you can see his game started to trail off. He wasn't quite starting as many. That year he's, he actually came off the bench more. And I said, you know what? We can move him on. We've, we've moved past him. Oh my God, just looking at some of these names is incredible. Incredible. Look at the look at the signings here. Uh, 120 million for Race Nelson. 138 million for Bettenker. 62 million for Gevels. 25 million for Piazza Longa. Sander Burge, 30 million dollars. <laughs> 63 million for Boscalo. Flurry, oh, he he was a good player, and he's only twenty six. Oh my God, he's only twenty six. Scoring goals, he's an assist machine, crazy. Anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to have a little flashback moment. Also, uh, so uh, we're almost to five hundred subscribers. That'll be a milestone for the channel. Um. Also, I am uh, now a guest vlogger doing a, a video series for Draft Day Sports College Basketball, a journeyman save with that game uh, on GM Games. So check out their channel, GM Games, on YouTube. <coughs> and uh, they're putting up my uh, Draft Day Sports College Basketball series over there. Uh, so just a heads up if you're interested in uh, in that sports action. But uh, I'll leave you with that picture right there because that is a thing of beauty. Oh, my goodness. All six trophies. Man, never had an unbeaten run, but, but you know, I'll take six trophies a year with a handful of losses anytime. Well, guys, I hope this flashback down memory lane was uh, as enjoyable for you. Uh, probably more enjoyable for Leeds fans, just seeing the success of the club. And uh, I have not been at Leeds since then, except in my I do my, uh, my private save that I'm doing right now for myself. Uh, we haven't won, but we we're in the Premier, and we're in our third year, I guess, in the Premier League. And this year they expected us to just finish mid-table. And uh, we actually finished second. We were not uh, Liverpool. Liverpool ended up winning the league by 10 points. But we played them in the next to last league game. And we were only six points back at that point. Uh, but they beat us. And then we put a fully rotated squad in order to go after the Champions League but they beat us in Champions League, uh, in the Champions League fi uh, final as well. So they cost us silverware, but still a good season. We finished in the Champions League finals and finished second in the league. So we're in, cha and they only want us to finish in the top half next year and qualify for Europa League. That's the goal. So uh, still very, uh, very manageable goals, but having some success with them. Um, the weird thing is, and just let me know what you guys, so like, you know, in this save, we see a lot of guys that are still five-star talent, right? Uh, like Guiri, still five-star talent. Literally, like, 
every player on my squad in my in FM twenty is like great. My great players are like three stars, and then like my superstars are three and a half or four stars. I don't have any five stars in the game. Um, and I don't know if that's just due to overall talent development. I don't know if that is. Aussie Villain made a comment in a video I was watching yesterday. Now, I'm binge watching him during the day, but he made a comment that for him, with Le he's playing with Leeds, he's in the Premier League, and he made the comment that like a two-star is actually a good Premier League-level player for him, and a three, a three star is like a really, really strong player, like you know, one of the better players on your on your squad, and that's in the Premier League. So I don't know if that's something just looking back now that is FM twenty driven or 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 not, but the you know the disappearance of these five star players and that there's a plethora of three and four star players. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd throw that out. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. I hope this trip back down memory lane was uh, enjoyable for you. Hit that like button, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back out at Bonnie Rig Rose and our journeyman with FM20 next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.